Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech for another first impressions review with myself and Marta. As you can see, this time we're having a look at a game by the name of Mushroom Men Truffle Trouble, which is currently not actually out yet on Steam. It is coming out on March the 10th. So this is a bit of an early look at this title, but as I said, coming out on March the 10th, so if you do like the look of it, keep your eyes peeled on that day. It was developed by Red Fly Studio, and it is a pl puzzle platformer where you play as a mushroom. Options, well, yeah. No resolution or anything options. It is, you know, a platformer and everything, but resolution at least would have been nice. Um... So, yeah, you obviously have the option to use the keyboard, but I'm using a Xbox pad just because that's how I prefer to play platformers. I have played the tutorial, and that's about it, as you can see. So, moving swiftly on. This is our lovely main character, I believe, Pax. Some rather nice graphics, as I'm sure you would agree. Probably not gonna like that. Whoever said that, they sound kind of like uh, Annie Wilkes esque, shall we say? Let's ask at this. Yes. Oh Christ! Okay, I'm guessing that's the person who sent the letter. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't. We don't like her, do we? No, we do not. So. Pax has a few moves at his disposal. He can move some blocks. Can I not move any of... I can't move any of these blocks apparently. Mm. Mm, how, on, how on earth... I can't seem to move any of these blocks. Can I move it this way? No. Hmm, stuck already, which isn't good. Is it this one? Maybe? Ah, yes. There we go. Yeah, so, oh, almost fell. As you can see, you basically have to move blocks around to get past certain obstacles and things like that. And you can move them in various ways, as you can see. I can. I can literally push them and lift them and also just get them out of my way like that. Obviously at the moment they're pretty basic but this literally is, oh no, don't want to go that way, the first level that isn't the tutorial. So it's not exactly surprising that the puzzles are pretty simple. Uh, now that I've collected four spores, I have spore power. And as soon as I need to, I'll actually use it and show you what that does for the moment. Cannon, okay. Let's let's climb in. Um, nice, nice. Uh, smash that bug's face. Okay, that isn't quite enough. So, let's pop that on there. Pull this out, and there we go. Fairly simple so far, as I'm sure you would agree. Oh, balls, I should have done a slam there. There we go. Oh. Hey. I don't know if you've been napping, bro, with that on your tail. <clears throat> oh, I missed one? Really? Damn it. 
Spore the meets the eye. Uh, love the puns. Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, she is not very happy. No, no, no. Not happy chaps. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, what the... Okay, that was a bit weird. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm kind of in it now. Ow! So I don't know if you even touch them. That's it. There we go. Go away! Alright, let's go straight up. Get that. Climb back in. And then pew pew pew. Okay, I didn't, didn't quite go high enough. Uh, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, the graphics are actually quite nice. Simple, but clean, colourful, and everything's clear. With two and a half D games, a lot of... Oh dear, that was probably bad. I need to kind of hurry up, she's right behind me. Ooh. Yeah, need that, there we go, right. Um... What was I saying? Yeah. A lot of the trap that a lot of two and a half D games fall into. Ow! What, a, a fly killed me, really? Hmm. I'm for you. Ugh, prefer if he didn't. Just saying. Oh, no, don't don't do that either. Yeah. So as I was saying, a lot of the uh, time, the trap that 2.5D games fall into is that you can't clearly tell the foreground from the background and basically obviously leads you to getting a smidge confused. But that's not the case here. It's pretty clean, it's pretty obvious what the background is and what the foreground is and all that good stuff and as I said the graphics are nice. I mean they're not like, you know, oh my god so real or anything like that but it doesn't need to be that to that degree. It has charm, it has character, nice bright colours. Oh no, there we go, there we go, collect that, push that, there we go, um, pull this, no? Okay, let's push, 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 there we go. Jumping high. Ugh. Burn her love. Yeah, don't like beetles. Okay. We made it! We made it! See, I think you're getting a pretty good idea of this game. Obviously, more mechanics will probably be introduced later, but for the moment, it's pretty basic, but it's executed very well, at least in my opinion. Music is not bad. It's not like the best music ever or anything, but it fits with the theme and it adds to the charm of the game. The graphics kind of give me a Trine vibe, I mean they're not that stunningly gorgeous, and, but you know, it's not exactly a, anything against this game. Very few games are as stunningly gorgeous as Trine, but it kind of gives me that vibe with the colour palettes. Okay, I need to... there we go. Get that, collect this, jump up there, go there. As you can tell, I'm actually enjoying myself. I don't. Puzzle platformers for me are love it or hate it. It really, really depends on how it's actually balls executed. Okay, how am I supposed to get that? Hmm. These mosquitoes, <coughs> excuse me, those mosquitoes are mean. What are they coming after me for? What have I done to you, Mr. Mosquito? That's what I want to know. I'm just right away from this hideous mushroom thing. Uh, okay. Not sure why I died there, but whatevs. Alright, let's pick this up. Pop that down. There we go. Oh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, you can fall off the sides, which I'm not sure I like. Okay, you stick to those, don't jump on that. Pro tip. Oh dear, we- Ow! I probably needed to use spore power there. Um, 
basically what spore power actually does is it makes you invisible for a brief time and it also makes you in basically well the enemies can't actually touch you so if you're in a little bit of a gauntlet with lots of bugs or kind of in your way then you can use the spore power to well get them out of your way and I just completely trapped myself which is not exactly optimal might need to kill myself to pull this back. No, no, I'm alright. Okay, good. No need for suicide today. That's good. Always good. Hmm. Don't trust that cannon. Yeah, so on that section there, I would need to use the spore power to actually get past. Alright. And obviously, even if you don't use the spore power, collecting the spores gives you more score. So, this is very much channeling the score attack freak in you, which is always something that platformers do, and understandably so, because, well, a lot of people, ow, like getting all this highest score and whatever, because they're crazy. Unless it's you, then you're not crazy. No, not at all. No, but in all seriousness, fuck, balls. Um, score attack isn't something I personally partake in, but I can definitely see the appeal of, oh my god, I missed one thing, I need to go back and get it. I definitely see that, because I get like that sometimes myself, but then, you know, sensibility kind of goes, no, 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 there's no need, there's no need. <laughs> sensibility a word, I'm not even sure it is. Um, I perhaps want to climb back up, there you go. I wonder if I can... No, I can't. I can push it that way, but it doesn't do me any good. Ow. So I got there in the end. Woohoo! So yeah, the game is pretty simplistic so far, but... As you can see, definitely encouraging me to go for the score attack and get that last spore that I missed. I am tempted, but no. no I'm here to do a first impression, so. And my first impressions are pretty good. It's a fairly simplistic game, as I keep saying, but I think it's really well executed. Graphics are nice, gameplay is nice. I'm not sure how I feel about you being able to fall off the sides, though. But overall, the jumping is precise, doesn't feel floaty, the controls are fine. As I say, I'm using pad and it's fine. I usually use pad for these sorts of games, just my personal preference. But yeah, I'd say that if you're looking for something with a kind of speed run aspect because I uh, know okay that I should have sprinted there because obviously you're very much against the clock because wow really I press jump there you go right because obviously you've got this hideous toastal queen or whatever she is chasing you so you can't like dilly dally and take as much time as you need to solve the puzzle it's kind of adds a interesting element to it I think so I think if you're into this sort of game and you're looking for something new this is a pretty good bet, actually. Very much so, definitely would recommend. Can I pick this up? Okay, let's jump. Put it down there. Ooh, I killed the bug, apparently. Good to know. Because you look like a beast, a hideous hell beast. There we go, jump up there, da da da. I want that spore. Awesome! This makes you feel good for doing well, but just. Uh, don't wait for me, go balls, like I could have made it really poorly. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying about the spore power, I. Not sure if I. S oh no 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 wrong way. Not sure if I said, but as well as using it to get past the little gauntlets, if she catches up to you, you can use it to kind of escape her notice, obviously, and hopefully she'll go away. Uh. Oh. And placing blocks kills bugs. FYI, pro tip for life that I feel. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going with this cannon, but whatevs. 
It was a bit of a gamble, but I kind of guess that going right is probably a good idea in a platformer. There we go. Yum, yum, yums. Sprinty, sprinty, sprinty. Oh, don't sprint too much because you'll fall off your ledge and die. Pro tip from me. I'm not very good at this game, as you can obviously tell, but I'm enjoying my time with that. It's executed very well. I'm fine with simplistic mechanics if they're executed well, which this definitely is. And now I'm yaring because I just missed that block. Okay, let's see. Okay. Mm, get rid of that. Pull this. Watch out for the bug. Climby, climb, climb. Jump, jump, jump. Cool. Oh, no, that's not what I had in mind. There we go. So, yeah, I definitely think if you're a fan of this sort of game, uh, it's worth checking out. It's not crazy hard. It's not super balls, super meat boy or anything. I'm just terrible. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. As I said, this game is out on March the 10th on Steam. So, yeah, if you like your score attack, you like your platformers, you want something with a bit of charm and character and well-executed but simplistic mechanics, then, well, you could do a hell of a lot worse than Mushroom Men Truffle Trouble. This game is pretty enjoyable and I'm actually probably going to play more of it. It's always nice to kind of kick back and relax with something like this where it entertains you with its charm character and obviously the developers have poured a lot of hard work into this particular title. So, that is me done for this first impressions review. Thank you very much for watching. Go check this one out, and I'll see you next time.